Hello and welcome to Triple A Tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the workspace and panels in Adobe Illustrator. In the last episode, I gave an introduction to the Illustrator interface where I touch on the panels. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to customize a panel layout to create a whole comfortable workspace. So let me go in. So, we are here where we left off in our previous video with this document open. I want to close this document because I don't want any anything to distract me, okay, based on what we are going to do. So, so, by doing that, I have to create a new document. Then, I'll have it open. Okay, fine. Then I'll close this tab. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. So here we are on our new document page, and today's lesson, as I've stated earlier, is going to be on the panels here at here. So over here on the right. We have a slim panel that contains array of panels that represents by these icons. So when you put the mouse together on this, you see that its color. This one is the uh, the color guide. This one is uh, sorry uh, properties. We have the layers and stuff. Okay, so you can click, then it will fly out. Okay, all right. S some of you have seen. Adobe in Illustrator be, be, be before, and some of you may be wondering uh, why these panels are small. Okay, they are few. Okay, so actually, we are going to uh, create our own custom layouts. All right, now, now if we look at the top right of our interface just above the control panel talk about this control panel so above it we have the word essential okay the word essentials and next to this is a drop down icon if we press this we can see a list of layouts so let's click them quickly and see so when we click on essential classic you will notice that essential classic have different workspace okay so layout layout also have its own workspace painting painting also have its own then we have the printing and proof proofing they have different lay layout as well tracing tracing have different layouts as well uh, we have the typography the typography also have a uh, different layout as well then 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 we have the web okay which is is for website okay that one also have its own workspace okay so here i'm going i'm going to click and select essential back okay so i'll click and click on essential back okay so here we are at our minimum panel at the side okay now in Adobe Illustrator we can customize your panel okay set up and save them this panel setup are called workspaces okay so now I'm going to show you how to create a workspace Okay, so what we are going to do now is click on the color. So maybe it will be different on your uh, the, uh, on your screen. Okay, so when you click on this color, you see this docker here. Okay, so now what we are just going to do is you, know, you click on the tab on the color, then you drag it out. Okay, what I just did. What I just did over there is separate the panel. Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing this 
click and dragging out the pana tab so i have no pana left on the right on the right or the right hand side okay we click and drag all right so now we don't have any uh, uh spanners at the right hand side they are all scattered on the art board and the base board as well okay so now we are going to customize our own workspace and this workspace is i will be glad or uh, you, you you use the same workspace but that's what we are going to use throughout our training okay so what i'm going to create here that's what you should also have when you open your adobe illustrator okay fine so first first what we are go going to look for is the layer panel so let's see if we have the okay i have the layer panel here so you, you, you can click and drag it to make it a little bit smaller okay so i i, I have the layer panel here first i want the artboard to be in the layer panel as well so i'll drag it on top of it so so you see this blue line then you let it go then automatically the artboard is going to uh, fix in so we have the layers and the artboard okay so the next thing i want to add to the layer here is um, um the links okay so do we have links here let's see let's see let's see okay uh, all right we don't have links okay don't panic when you don't have anything here okay just go to the standard toolbar here click window then let's look for the links okay so this is the li link so i'll just click the link and the link will show here okay i just want the link alone, so i'll just click and drag it out okay and i'll close the action okay all right now i'll drag the link into the layers panel as well so now here i have three layers okay i have three all right so let me put that one here now the second one is we want to we want the color swatches okay so as i don't think we have the color swatches here so we go to window then let's look for swatches so this is the swatches we click it and it will appear here okay i don't like uh, i just need a swatches for, for now so i'll pull this one here okay so after the swatches uh, we need the gradient two to be inside the swatches so i think the gradient two is not here so let's go to properties then let's look for the gradient two yeah so that's the gradient two so we click and drag it onto the swatches panel all right so the next one is the color so i think we have the color here so we drag and place it here okay then the next one is we need a color guide so we take that one and put it here so we have our four all these people goes together because they are all colors okay so now we'll, we'll put that one to here okay so let's go to the third one the third one is i will need my stroke okay the stroke means lines so do we have stroke here i don't think so so we go we said that we see the stroke so let's click and bring the stroke out okay we have the stroke so the stroke uh, comes with the transparency yes yeah, so i really want the transparency to be with the stroke okay so now let's see if we have appearances i don't think we have so we go to window then we click on appearances okay so we have our appearances here so with the appearances you click and drag it into the stroke panel okay so now the the last thing i want to, i want us to have on this panel is the image trees so we go to window then we look at we look for image trees so let's see let's see image trees image trees Okay, so that's the image trees here. Okay, so 
we drag that one to into the stroke panel okay so now i'm okay with the stroke panel now so now we have three all right so let's see the next one is i want to have the pathfinder and the uh, align so the pathfinder and the align i just here so i'll just drag the pathfinder into the align so, so now we have align and pathfinder so let's drag that one to here okay so then so the next one i want us to have the the character okay which is for text so i think the character we have to come with down to so we come to type then we select the uh, the character so this character the character i don't want to uh, put it into anything okay so now let's arrange it so now my color is going to be my the first at the top here okay so the next one uh, i want the layer to follow so this is the layer so when you hold here and click and drag on top of the uh, um this here okay it's going to start so when you have this blue thick line just let your mama do and you, are, you, you have stacked these two together okay so the next one <coughs> sorry the next one i will need a stroke to follow okay so we go by the stroke then we have the stroke there okay you, you can resize it okay i think this one have a lot okay so now what's the next one is the pathfinder so the pathfinder and the align okay i just want this one to, to be next okay so i think the last thing the last thing now is the uh, uh, is the uh, is the character so but i want the character to be in between um, here the stroke and the layers okay or maybe i want the character to be under the uh, swatches okay so now for the those ones left here we don't have anything to do with it okay so i think we are we are left with one thing here which is the brush so we need the brush also so the brush we need the brush to be in the stroke panel okay so i think we have our stroke panel down here so we just click and have it in there so as you can see we have all of them here okay now i want the layer to be below okay to be the last thing okay so so now here we are we have these these are the custom the uh, the 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 customization we are okay with all right so if you follow this video very well you should have the same uh panel here or the workspace i'm having here okay all right so now let's close the rest as we don't need them again let's close them <coughs> if later you remember that we need to put something you just go to window they are here okay you, 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 you can have them all here all right so now let's save our workspace so we go to window we click workspace then you come down and you click on new workspace then we click so now i'm going to save my own triple triple a workspace ws okay so i'm going to take the a so triple workspace okay so then i'll hit save so the moment i save it you realize that the name that i i use is showing here so if you click on the drop down here you see you have the essential is the the essential classic is there but the one you just created is the one that is being selected 
if you go back and choose essential classic you see that that one will change so if you come back and choose your uh, customer save one then that one also will pop up okay so this is going to be something default on your machine okay so in some cases some people also want to paint it so you drag it to the top a little bit to have this blue line okay then you let it go so automatically it will i mean stick okay to create some uh, sticky area here with all your tools in it okay if for some reason you want to do some editing that that's what this are for all right so you can uh, click to collapse it to it to show in this form of icons all right or you click to expand it okay guys so this brings us to the end of uh the web pieces and panels in adobe illustrator i hope you enjoyed this video in our next video i will be talking a little bit more about artboards how they work in adobe illustrator and why we use them okay so see you in our next video and please if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe just click the bell down below to subscribe okay all right